Okay, and then we're inside the castle and we see the Gurney Yalik teaching um, Paul how to fight. Okay, so the, the shield, if you swing your blade quickly, it bounces back blue. And if you go in slowly, it comes through red and then you can actually attack someone. Yep. I, I get it. I get it. So like if you have something fast, it bounces off. That's great. Super cool. The guns don't work. Okay, cool, cool. But what I don't understand is how does this actually translate into like harming someone? Because you can't like you can't like thrust at them because then the shield the shield will bounce off. So then you got to like slice people, but you can't slice fast because then the shield should stop it. So you like you press your blade into them and then like slowly pull. Like is that how this combat works? So, so I guess you want to get to the edge of the shield fast, and then once you're at the shield, you want to move slowly. So, so, so it's you, like a it's like a fast strike, and then when you get to the shield, right. you can't be fast anymore because you'll bounce. So you like yep. you go fast and then slowly in. Yeah, and you want to move as you want to move in slowly at the fastest speed possible. So it's right. fast to the edge, and then as fast as you can in, and then stab. So like you push instead of like letting it glide slowly. Like you get in, but so the shield only stops things from the. If it's fully outside of the the shield, just so saying. Once you're once if the sword is penetrated through the shield uh -huh. and it's in red mode, can I now thrust at full speed? God damn it! <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Yep. I mean, so, and, but my or do I have is, to continue at the slow speed? Yes, this is exactly what I thought. Because here, like in the palm of Paul's hand, yeah, mm -hmm. the sword's through the shield, but through the outside here and on the thumb. Yep. The sword is in the shield, and so it should be grabbed by the blue part. Yeah. So if you tried to, if you tried to move it lateral, like side to side here, it would it, would like it, would it be able to move side to side quickly, or would he be like moving against the blue? Right. Like shoving it, your hand into ooh black. I don't know. The, the yeah, like like stuff. molasses or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd just be really much more reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Right. So then, how does this actually translate into combat? Like, I just need a poison tip my blades. I guess. Like, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking you you still want to use guns. I was thinking, Heck so you 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 do high mass projectiles at people. Okay, it it hits the shield, cannot penetrate, bounces off, and the shield shields the person from the large mass, but the acceleration internally scrambles them. You That's know, usually. essentially, you get this like liquefaction <laughs> inside the the shield that the shield fully protected you, but you're inside the shield and you were accelerated, damage done. So you're saying if it was like the 1400s, 600s, whatever, medieval Europe, if like if you try to stab some or slash someone that was wearing the knight's armor, like it's just your, your sword is going to bounce off the armor. However, right. if you could grab them and shake them, like they would get concussions. And if you shook them really hard enough, they break bones and bleed and stuff. That's what you're saying. You're saying hit someone with a bullet that's so big, like a huge cannonball. And even yeah. though that cannonball will bounce off of them, like there'll be so much shock to them, they'll die. Yeah, anyway. Exactly. And nice. then I guess the, that, that could be effective. I guess also if you had smaller caliber weapons, if you could hit them a bunch of times, is that going to degrade the shielding? Or is overload it just, the shield? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there's got to be some type of battery or something in here. And it's like there's only so much, so much damage that it can take before it just overloads, right? Yeah. I mean, I just find it hard to believe that everybody in the universe is like, we're just going to swords. That's what we're doing because shields. Like, shields, yeah. I nobody want nobody tries I want... to out engineer it. Right. Yeah. I want, well, at least want long range. Okay. Okay. Like, Even if you don't have long range, but if you have a sword that has a gun built into it, so you're like slowly into their shields and you're like, what? <laughs> like, I got you now, bitch. Yeah. Boom. You like pull a trigger from inside the shield. That's right. So you stab, boom, which then creates a hollow opening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the blue is on the outside. You got, you can, and then bullet through into the person. Yeah. Gun blades, perfect. God, that would be cool martial arts. Mm -hmm. I'd watch that anime. I'd play that video game. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel like Dune though, but pretty cool. It could be like Dune three when technology has advanced, <laughs> stagnant for like thousands of years, and. Like... <laughs> We'll see this later. They have super advanced technology like laser cannons and all kinds of orbital yeah, stuff. Yeah. But then they're fighting with swords. It's Weird. what is going on? Weird. Weird. And they're like running around instead of using like shoes that have 
wheels on the heels. That would be perfect. You traverse large distances very smoothly. Yes, on the sand. <laughs> okay, okay, you get a good point. <laughs> Pave your roads, Arrakis.